Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to sh show you uh, how to model this shape. So this is a, a conceptual mass and this is one single mass so which you can load into the project and then so you can create a wall by pick face you can create a roof by uh, by face as well okay so let's start okay so first let's create a new family and go to conceptual mass and okay so first let's go to floor plan so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, create three reference line so a uh, reference spline through points so uh, and then or oh, hell three yeah three will be fine but we need to um, we need to copy them okay so because we we're going to uh, cre create a solid so now we have three and select them let's go to an elevation or just elevation uh, in the 3d view copy them up so roughly uh, there so now we we can connect these two points connect these two points connect these two points these two and these two oops sorry these two so now we can select all of oh, control select all, all of them make them all reference line so this is uh, to create these three closed profile so we can select all of them and create a solid so this is a solid uh, form so now we can adjust the shape so for example i'll just ra uh, random randomly uh, adjust all these points so like this and also you can adjust the uh, edge points even uh, move horizontally or vertically and then uh, you can also select this solid you can also do these okay so for example i'll add a profile here and then you will be able to select select the profiles uh, here so for example uh, you can you can change the uh, what do we call this axis <laughs> and use your spacebar to you know change the direction you can adjust this so let's see if we can add I'm not sure how to use edge um, nope let's try profile again so add profile okay so it looks like we can only uh, create profile on this direction uh, yeah uh, personally I don't like profile because because uh, it's not as but this one this lines are like uh, we can't change the shape of this this pro uh, this line it, it will be always uh, like this uh, so I like to use spline through points so I can always adjust these points anything uh, along this line okay uh, along this uh, reference line so that's it so um, okay so this is a solid and then we can let's go to floor plan so now we can cut some void okay so first I'm going to just cut create a reference line and I'll use a circle so um, oh actually before before this I, I want to move my solid roughly center to here so oh, roughly here so oh sorry uh, it won't work can I move this no maybe I need to move the profile Let's go to 3D view. One, two, 
three. Let's try to move the profile instead. Oops. Oh, sorry. It looks like I didn't select the middle one, but oh, it also looks like the the profile is causing this issue. Um. Anyway, let's just adjust the. Okay, so I think that that's it. So now let's go to floor plan, and we're going to cut void. So first, create a reference line. So current work plan is a uh, level one, which is good. So I'm going to just draw a circle. So center to these two reference plan, and so for example, I'll draw a uh, a circle ten meter, and so it will be a circle. So if I go to 3D view, you will see it's a circle on the floor level. Uh, where is it? Okay, so it looks like my solid has moved uh, below the level one. So it's so the circle is hidden. Um, maybe I should. Uh, it looks like because of this profile, so that's why I don't like them. They are just very hard to use. So maybe can we delete them? Oops, we can't. But that's fine. Uh, we can always create another solid from these uh, reference lines. So create a form. So we have another one. Yeah. So this time I'm not going to use profile anymore. So so now let's have a look. Uh, looks like they are below the floor level, uh, below this level one. Maybe let's just move all these uh, reference line up so the solid will be sitting on the level one. Okay, so that's it. And now we can cut the use the void you can create we can create a void now so let's you can straight away create a void form or you can create a solid form and then change it to void usually i like to create a solid first because you um you can uh you can see where it is and only change it into void when uh when you think uh, the size or the the height is correct, it's 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 good, it's it's okay. So now I'll just change this to void and click. So now you will see it will automatically cut this uh, solid. So this is mass, so it will work. It will act this way. But if you you are doing uh, you um, modeling, you you are doing modeling place, and it won't, it will not automatically cut if you change a solid into a void. Okay, so okay, so now we cut away the middle part, and then we need to cut away the the uh, the the outside the ex external part. So let's do this. Um, you won't be able to create just one void. You can't just draw. Uh, it's not model in place. In model in place, you can create a profile, closed profile, and another profile to create one void. But in mass, we can't do this. So let uh, I'll show you. So if I create a um, a reference line, a circle. And if I draw a circle here, so for example, I just touch it, or maybe we can just move this a little bit further. So move to the left, use your keyboard. Okay, and then, so if I create a circle here, and if I create another circle, so because in model in place, we know you can do this. We can have two profile. And create a a void or solid with a, a void in the middle, right? But in 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 mass, we can't do it. 
Okay, so we have to do it. Um, we have to do two void. Okay, so so we don't need this one. We need the the this circle, but we have to uh, split it into two. Okay, so it doesn't really matter how you split. So you can do here, here. So now you can tell where it is by if you move your cursor on it, you can see here. And also you can do this. So I'll show you. So if you do reference line, so now I'm going to set draw on word plan. I want to draw on the level. Okay, so the reference level. So I'm going to set, change this to, oh, sorry, level one. And then use this spline through points. Just move onto this arc and you can just manually pick this point or just type SE. Okay, so this, this end, if you tab, it will pick the other end. Okay, you can switch between these two points, two ends. So just pick this one roughly. So as long as you cover the whole half of this solid. So let's do this. And uh, go back to SE, this end again. So now escape. So we have, we can select this and then tab, control, select. So now we have this closed profile. So we can create a form. So let me just create a solid for now. So let's rotate it up. You will see this is the shape. And then change this to void. And that's it. So now we can go back and create another. So reference. So it's on level one, which is good. So we don't need to pick it again. So spline through points. SE again. So either this one or this one will be the same. And then this time, ah, that's fine. Just click OK. This time, you, you need to make sure you cover all this area. So you want to go up and down, up and finish it here. Okay, so now select, so tab, select this part and tab, select, control, select, create form, solid and change it to void or you can create a uh, directly create void. It, it will be the same. Click, and that's it. So now we have this a uh, uh, mass so it's uh, from the top it looks like a, a circle okay and then there will be you can you can still so now for example uh, you can still adjust the point and you will see the shape of this mass will change as well see you can still adjust this. So of course, if you want to have, you know, um, instead of this is not very, you know, uh, uh, the shape is not uh, very complicated or uh, if you want more, uh, sh oh, sh what should I say, um, dynamic or, you know, all the up and downs, you can you can create more profile so currently so we only have one two three so if you create more so for example one two three four five and then you have more points to control the shape of this mass okay so it uh, looks like uh, the voice this void is not high at all enough so you can always uh, increase the height to make sure it cut the solid part. Okay, so that that's it. Oh, it looks nice. Um, and then we can. So let me just create a project. And load this mess into the project. And then let's go to 3D view and change it to shade. 
So this is just one single mass. And then we can create a wall by face. So pick pick uh, pick the face. So oh, actually you can because it's a circle. It's it don't uh, need to use wall by face. But if you use wall by face, you can use up update to face if you change change the mass and then create a roof by face as well so pick this face create a roof so now you can select all your wall s a and attach to this roof so now we have this okay and um yeah i think that that's it i'm not sure if you can use a sloped glazing uh, let me have a quick play so uh, maybe maxing ma maximum spacing and let me just add some volumes to it see if it works or not apply Um, not responding. <laughs> okay. Almost there. Yeah, it works. So you can you can create a. Yeah, it looks nice. It's just a sloped glazing. It's nothing special. And also, um, you can also go back to the mass. And so, for example, you can select this face, and you can use divided surface if you want to create some nice pattern. So, for example, um, so like this, um, and also you can use pattern-based pattern-based families. So you can create very uh, complicated uh, panels with uh, parameters. Okay, so that's it. Um, if you have any question, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.